Hi, this is Tom Brown. I'm just making a short video here to show some of the differences that exist currently between Tableau and Power BI. The first thing I'm going to look at is, is Power BI's inability to display more than 3,500 data points and the implications that has for outlier detection in data analysis. So let's just start with a quick scatter plot in Tableau. I'm going to take number of records here and put this on columns and price on rows, which starts our scatter plot. And here I'm going to take postcode sector and split this to give us our scatter plot. And you see Tableau responds with the scatter plot as expected. Let's draw the exact same visualization in Power BI. I have the same data set connected. I'm going to take price. Let's have a scatter plot. The price here. To use transaction ID on the x axis. And I take postcode sector. Now, Power BI responds quickly, just, just like Tableau did. This isn't really a performance test, although this is a relatively large data set, 20, 20 million rows CSV file. But what we notice is that if we look carefully at the visualization created by Tableau, we start to look at these outliers here, and we notice the outliers don't exist in the Power BI visualization. So we can see these two, which match the two marks here, but this mark in particular is missing on the Power BI visualization and a number of other marks are missing in this area too. You can see this pattern, these three marks do exist in the Power BI visualization, but the remainder of the marks up here have been excluded. And what's happening there is that Power BI has decided that because it can only display three and a half thousand data points, that it's taken a representative sample of the data and has therefore hidden the outliers that we might otherwise be interested in. So that was the first point I wanted to display. The second one is the way Tableau can work with multiple dimensions. And what I mean by that is, whilst we have a single dimension in this visualization, what if we want to split this chart by something else? So take this new build flag here, for example, and drag this out to repeat the chart or perhaps to color those charts as well. Or maybe build something completely different. Let's see that in another way. What if I take the uh, average price across the time period, split that by property type. Let's make these all have independent axes. Right, we can just exclude unknown. And maybe now bring out new build onto columns as well. So creating a dense trellis of charts, a good way to expose variance within the data. Now when I try and do something like that in Power BI, I simply don't have the ability to do it. On various chart types, if I remove this scatter plot, go with something simple like a bar chart here, bring out price onto value. say split that by new build or not. Now if I want to introduce the property type here, for example, you might think I could put this on axis as well. Power BI lets me put it there, but it won't display the visualization I want. What I'm after here is something like price. Uh, let's just swap that. Split by new build and then subsequently split by property type. Okay, now I can't introduce those two dimensions into a Power BI report, and so I'm stuck with a single visualization like this, and I can't expose differences across the different dimensionality that I have. Okay, thanks for listening.